name is Shanna Wheelock. I received an email from Natasha Mayers back in January, and she just wrote this quick little blurb that the UMVA was thinking of arting up a town. So of course I wrote her back explaining why Lubeck should be the place that gets arted up. For the past few years, I've known about artists here, but everybody kind of stays in their own little corner. And this is an opportunity to bring the artist community together, as well as some of my students. I teach at the school here. Um, some of my students have come through to create art. This is something they've never seen before. Um, and to have artists of this caliber to come all the way down east in our most eastern little point of a town, um, it's just amazing to, to kind of put us on the map. The opening wine and cheese at Crowtown Gallery was just wonderful the first night the artists arrived. Bonnie Beard and Yuki Santos opened a gallery a couple years ago here, and they graciously volunteered their space for opening night, and um, just a chance for the artists and the committee to get to know one another. And tours of Lubeck and Cobb's Cook, Ruta Jordans gave the artists a ride around town and talked about the history of Lubeck and showed them some of the key spots. My name is Robert Shetterly. Art has really become my life. I guess the way I've used it for years is to try to understand what it means to be alive. I think a lot of the best art in our lives uh, does some kind of mysterious work to hold the community together. And um, by enhancing our, our sense of place, not necessarily just by reflecting the physical environment we, work, we live in and telling us something about that extraordinary place. But I think it uh, often reflects the psychological place we're in, the moment we're in in history, and describes it back to us in a way that is uh, perhaps more profound than most of us are living in it at that time. My name is Diane Dalkey. I've always known I was going to be an artist and I started painting when I was in school, in art school, and I've just always loved it. It just always felt like the right thing for me to do. And why? I don't know. It just felt like my mission in life. I always enjoy the challenges that it presents. I mean, it's not always fun, and sometimes it really is a challenge, but sometimes it's like putting pieces of a puzzle together. And I enjoy that. There's always something that just keeps me engaged. And I also teach, and I love sharing this with people and having them get excited about it too. And I think it's probably the process that keeps me going and I would guess keeps a lot of artists going, more so than the product. And I want the product to be something that I'm proud of, it isn't always, but I like trying to make that so. My name is Kenny Cole. When I was a little kid, I always drew. And uh, so it was pretty, pretty early on, and I would have to say that basically I was, I was very encouraged. And you know, a little, little encouragement can go a long, long way, especially when you're young. So, you know, I pretty much decided when I was young and uh, I knew, in high school, I knew I wanted to go to art school. So by that, at that point in my, my life, I was, I was pretty determined. And I would just say in college, I got this concept of the artist as an individual. And immediately I said, well, that's, that's the direction I want to go. I guess probably as an adult, I've, I've grown to, to look for more of a purpose in it. I've sort of made my own sort of way in the art world. So for the most part, I've, when I've exhibited my work, it's something that I created myself. You know, I found a space and I do all the marketing and all that kind of stuff. And then from there, I sort of made my own way. And I think where I'm at now is I've uh, pretty much decided to make my, my art have, have more purpose and address political issues and look at the problems in the world, political issues, 
and address those in my artwork. And I think Lubeck Arts Alive is a chance for me to sort of bring my interest in community and my interest in making art together. And there's just no doubt in my mind that it has an ex a huge amount of value for the community. My name's Richard Brown Leatham. I go by Brown. It was my grandfather's first name and it's what I've chosen as my name. So I'm Brown. It's a very earthy color. I'm a, I'm a painter who likes intense colors and uh, disgusting. I've, I've always been motivated by painting and drawing ever since I was can remember and very interested in painting things from life, people who are in movement, who are uh, breathing and talking and so this project really fascinates me and gives me an opportunity to uh, learn more about people from Lubeck, the history of Lubeck, and what the problems there are, what the, uh, the crops, the, the interests of uh, the people in the locale. So I'm finding that my educational experience in uh, arts in Lubeck, Lubeck Alive. I guess in my personal work, if uh, I were to make a comment about that, I'm interested in painting as I said, movement is essential to my work, you know, quality of color as movement, and the enigmas of life are what really fascinate me in my work. Uh, the ineffable, that, that which cannot be expressed uh, or pinned down. I'm a Quaker and uh, I think my religious beliefs and practices of silent meditation fit right into my painting. Uh, in fact, I was a painter before I came to Quakerism. I'm Natasha Mayers. The moment I thought about this project, Lubeck Arts Alive, was when Israel was bombing Gaza. My anger my sorrow was transformed into a positive action. I, I, I needed to do something and I decided that I wanted to, to organize artists from the Union of Maine Visual Artists to come into a community. And at the same time that we're building community as artists among the artists, wanted to help a community come together and be transformed in similar ways of, of learning to work together better, of making something beautiful, something meaningful, a way of celebrating the history and the diversity of a town. And it, it wasn't difficult to choose this town. I had worked in the school two years earlier. I had met Shanna and she was a wonderful person to work with. I'm an artist in residence and I came into the school and worked with elementary kids and a few high school kids to paint murals all through the school. And even though it was winter, I could see how, what a great place this was. And, and when I looked around the state and considered the economic depression of a town like Lubeck, I thought of Lubeck and Waterville, Skowhegan, Augusta as possible sites for artists to come to. But Lubeck really uh, won out mostly because of Shanna. I think it's crucial to the health of a community for it to know its own history to own it, to, to be proud of it, to, to grow from it, to, to, to go from there. I would hope that it means that the community is proud of its history, will learn some more history that it doesn't even know because I've done a lot of research and I met with Ron Pesha, I read some of the history. So we're including things that, that the present generation might not even know about. So it, it becomes a way for the older people in town to say, hey, you know, I'll tell you about that lead mine or I'll tell you about that hotel that was once there or I'll tell you about that store that isn't there anymore or what it was like to work in the factory. So it becomes that talking wall of a storytelling place. And that's what I'm hoping it becomes for the community. I'm hoping that the community will see itself as, a, as an artistic place, as a creative, imaginative place that draws people from, from Lubeck and from away to come together to make art together, um, to realize that 
maybe there is, there's, there's a tremendous reason why uh, creative people are drawn to this area and, and for them to be uh, a little bit more prouder of, um, of their community. My God, Claudia, is there anything you can't do? Because she sings, she paints. <laughs> There's no less there is. I'd like to drop you to the And also a memory like How do you describe the color of your eyes? My name is Rose Morasco. I'm a photographer. Here on this project, I'm actually doing portraits, which I haven't done in a while. But I don't want people to be busy working. They tend to want to do that, but I actually like the way the folks who are doing the painting work, where the person that one is is engaging with, is actually aware of the camera. That's why I use a camera on a tripod, and it, it slows it down a little bit. And this way, the the person that I'm photographing is connected to my kind of slowness in the way that that I work. And I really want to engage them. I want them to look into the camera, and I want them to be aware of being photographed. I've been involved in education my whole life, so I've been a teacher as well as, as a uh, visual artist. So I would say that, I mean, the thing that I value about the arts is the sharing of it, the sharing of the excitement of it, and my own passion about it, I think, comes through in my teaching because it, it's helped me to advance as an artist to be a good teacher and to be present with my students. So when you're teaching something and you're doing it, it's kind of a nice sounding board where you, you are actually able to express your ideas with an audience, if you will. And I've done some projects within the community. I've, I did a large project on the Maine Grange where I toured the whole state of Maine and photographed over 100 Grange halls. And my way of bringing in people to that was the Grange members themselves did a program at the Farnsworth Museum where the exhibition opened. And I did a lot of talks in Grange halls. So I tried to mix up the communities of art and Grange members. So I think it's difficult to do that. We have museums and galleries and set places where people basically who are interested in art will go. But a lot of people feel intimidated by it because they haven't been exposed to it at a, at a young age and they do not think it's for them. And it is accessible to all. And we also have the sculptural doorway installations. We have three artists who are downtown right now um, creating a, a sculpture installation for Annabelle's Pub. Lubeck Landmarks and Diane's Glass Gallery. My husband, Chris Crittenden, is a, a writer and he focuses...